My girlfriend cheated on me, and when people ask why I broke up with her, I tell them, is that wrong vindictive of me? Best of Reddit, daily new uploads, subscribe and like for more, just do it. Shh, you're interrupting the 2200 comment cheating girlfriend karma train, this is such shit. The way I see it, why bother lying to people for her happiness when she obviously couldn't give two shits about yours? She cheated on you repeatedly now she just doesn't want other people to know that she's a shitty person. I agree with this, and I would add that she's probably also trying to hide from herself. When someone walks up and says oh man, you cheated on fucking rock, why would you do that? He was awesome it makes her feel bad about what she did and she doesn't like being constantly reminded of her guilt. Edit. For clarity, thanks Tejmin. A lot of people seem to think I'm saying he should go easy on her because she might feel bad. In fact I meant to imply the exact opposite, that she should be made to feel bad for being an absolutely shitty human being. So that comments made below still make sense. Originally the start of my comment read I'd agree with this. But, don't forget to leave your comment. Boo fucking who gives a shit. That's kinda my point. I'm not saying you should feel sorry for her because she feels bad. I'm saying she should feel bad. What she did was awful. Your cheating is bad. And you should feel bad. Comma it makes her feel bad about what she did and she doesn't like being constantly reminded of her guilt. It's almost as if people need to take responsibility for their own actions from time to time. Don't forget to leave your comment. Exactly. Her being guilty is a personal problem. You committed the crime. Pay the fine. I think giving an honest answer is fine. You don't need to embellish the story or be vindictive about it. But you don't need to lie. Irrelevant username. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. This is basically the best answer. Friend, how is Emma? You. That cheating sack of shit. Fucking whore. The slut cheated on me. Wrong. Friend, how is Emma? You. Actually we broke up. She cheated on me so I told her I don't ever want to see her again. I don't keep in touch, alright? Nope, it's honest. You owe her nothing. If she didn't wish to be called a cheater, she probably should not have cheated. Not slander when it's true. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. Slander man. I'm not sleeping tonight. I'll make sure of it. LOL perfect username for this situation. Don't forget to leave your comment. You're not sleeping either. Better call Saul. I stopped lurking Reddit just to upvote this. One of US. One of US. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. Google gobble gobble gobble. This is really the best answer. To be somewhat chivalrous and not a dick, it would be best to answer in a slightly humble manner. But hell yeah. Tell the truth. Honesty and chivalry often go hand in hand, but not when cheating is involved. In this case, honesty is better served by the company of dignity. How about we settle on dignity without being a dick? Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. For honor's sake, if her friends ask, don't use the word whore. I prefer to substitute. Cum dumpster. Why did you break up with her? She's a cum dumpster. Oh no. Let's go get drunk. Edit, spelling, seriously, that's about the maximum any cheater can be owed is not being referred to as whore. Anything less than honesty is a cover up for not even your benefit. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. Chivalry goes both ways. She wasn't acting like a lady when she cheated on him so he doesn't have to treat her like a lady. It's true, but it's probably best for all parties involved that he takes the higher road, while staying honest. She cheated, nothing more, no names. She doesn't deserve more words than those spent on her. If you want to take the high ground you could simply say she betrayed my trust. This would be the nice way to put it when people asked. Imo though honestly she doesn't deserve respect after cheating, and you should be the last person worried about her happiness easier said than done. Yada yada. Don't forget to leave your comment. If she didn't want the king to tell people she cheated on him, she could have made it so by not cheating on him. Your logic is sound. I approve. Yes this one is easy. If there's any doubt, think about this. If you cheated on her, would she keep quiet about it? This is a bad way of measuring whether it's right to do something. For instance, it's not okay to rob someone because they would rob you given the chance. It's not okay to humiliate someone because they would humiliate you. That said, 
Truth is always a defense and OP has no obligation to not tell anyone. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. She cheated on you, and she wants you to do a favor for her? Fuck her. She was obligated not to fuck anyone but you. But she fucked where she should not have fucked instead. Fuckity fuck fuck fuck. Don't forget to leave your comment. Fuck. If only she fucking fucked the one fuck she agreed to fuck. Instead of fucking some other fucky? Fuck yay. No. Don't do that. You catch crabs if you fuck her. You'll get crusty crabs from her bikini bottom. And definitely start away from her sandy cheeks. Don't forget to leave your comment. Yeah, don't know how many barnacle boys have been inside her crabby patty. What the dolphin giggle. My friend caught his girlfriend cheating on him. This was his Facebook status. I am now single because my whore of an ex-girlfriend was caught fucking a guy in an alleyway. He got asked out a few times from various girls the next day. Helps he's good looking. Came home from a week in Europe to find an extra pair of feet in my bed. We were supposed to go to her best friend's wedding in two weeks. I told her that she got to explain to them why I wouldn't be there. Then I figured since I couldn't trust her with anything, I had to tell her best friends why I wouldn't be there. Her jaw hit the floor when I told her I sent the email. Don't forget to leave your comment. Good move. She probably would have said you cheated on her. This should always be a status made when someone cheats. Disclaimer. You only don't seem like a dick if you're good looking. There is a pretty good chance that she will slander OP if he doesn't tell the truth. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. You'd be lying for her happiness, but it might cause heartbreak to someone else. If she's not sorry, maybe people should know she is a cheater. Look, I'm telling the truth. It's not my fault you don't know how to. Nice. HTTP. Colon slash slash. I. Dot imger, Dot com. Slash 4KOKL. Dot JPG. GIF version for you. HTTP. Colon slash slash. I. Dot imger, Dot com. Slash BOHCU. Dot GIF. If you are enjoying the video subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my new videos. HTTP. Colon slash slash. I. Dot imger, Dot com. Slash 37TRV. Dot JPG. She cheated on you. She doesn't get to ask anything of you ever again. Once you break up with someone and drop being in contact with them, in my opinion, you owe them nothing and anything you do is no longer each other's business. You are no longer each other's responsibility in the least. Just because you data doesn't require anything of each other in the future. Hell, I even told one of my exes this up front and you know what she goes and do a year later? Cheats. She is still trying to get back in contact with me and it's pitiful. I owe her nothing. I'm 2500 miles away, and I have a new life. I'll go back and untell all those people if you go back and unfuck Brandon. If you are enjoying the video subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my new videos. Just because she's ashamed of her decision to cheat doesn't mean that you have to lie on her behalf. She made her own bed, let her lie in it. With that being said, keep details private, unless you're speaking to a very close friend or family member of yours to vent. Yes she cheated, but burning bridges on your end is never good either. Sorry this happened to you. Being cheated on is fucking terrible. Nope. I played the game her way after a relationship ended. I thought it was no one's business that he hit me. What everyone got from that is that I just up and broke his heart after years together for no reason. As far as mutual friends were concerned, I was a bad one, and he deserved their sympathy. Fuck. I lost nearly all my friends because of this. After I ended the relationship I left town for a few months. And when I returned I discovered that he'd spent the entire time crying to everyone about what an evil whore I was. For some reason I still felt like a shithead telling our mutual friends about the abuse. And I doubt they would have believed me at that point anyway. So, you know, fuck that. Sadly that's part of the abuse, isn't it? Making you feel bad for reporting any of his terrible behavior. When did telling the truth become vindictive? And why would you lie for the sake of happiness of someone that cheated on you? Who are you? Gandhi. 
No, I just want to do the action that's going to have the best effect for the most people. It's a utilitarian thing for me, and that's just decency emo. Telling the truth would have a decidedly negative effect on her, indubitably, and one could make the conclusion that my motives could indeed be vindictive, but in this case they're not, but I feel that making sure future mates of hers have a good picture is more important, plus, they haven't done anything wrong, but she sure has, at the end of the day, after thinking it over, I believe that any negativity she experiences is on her, not me, even if I'm the one who tells people what happens. At the end of the day, after thinking it over, I believe that any negativity she experiences is on her, not me, even if I'm the one who tells people what happens. Yep, that's a well thought out conclusion and in my opinion the correct one. Nice work, you've earned yourself a beer, let's get ready to circle deck. Thanks for watching, sub sub, like and hit the bell for more videos comment your views.